Yo guys, what's going on? It is me, KLV. Now, in today's video, we are doing a Revenant video. Now, I recently just got Revenant, and I know it's been a long time since Revenant has came out, but I haven't really been wanting them compared to the other frames that I've been wanting to get. And uh, yeah, so I got a 75% discount code, and I used them. I, I try to look what a good build is for him, and this is the best build that I could make with Zero Former. So now this is with zero former. A lot of the videos on YouTube that I've looked at have like five former, one former, two former. But this is a zero former build. Now, if you like me and you can't be bothered to put former on your frames, this build will be perfect. So now this build, to so basically, I'm going to go through all of his abilities and another reason why I do like Reverend is all of his abilities all fit together. So let's start with the first one. First is Enthrall. So basically you convert a target into Zelu Thrall. Thralls turn on their on their allies and thrall through damage on the death. They disintegrate into a damaging pillar of energy. The thrall horde remains under Reverend Spell until this ability runs out. So basically what this ability does is when you throw someone, it will turn that enemy that you thralled basically onto your side. Now this is a really efficient when it is like ancient healers or something like that. If it's an ancient healer, then you will also get that damage reduction that, that ancient healer does to the enemies. So if you see an ancient healer, make sure you put throw on that ancient healer as that is a really good thing to do. Next is a Mesmer skin. Now this is basically Revenant's tankiness and um, you become involved in sentient energy, redirecting damage and stunning all of those who dare attack. Stunned enemies can be enthralled at no energy cost. So if you use your Mesmer skin and an, and an enemy, so for example the ancient healer is stunned, then when you use your throw, it will cost zero energy. So that can work really well. Next is Reeve. Now this is, you dash through enemies as a wall of sainted energy, leeching shields and health from any encountered enhanced for throws. Now I mainly use this for like, for example, Wukong's um, cloud ability. Um, I don't use this too much. I do use it sometimes because it can do um, a nice amount of health drain and it does drain and it is not a bad ability to use but I may just use it just because because you move more faster it's basically like uh, Wukong's Cloud. So next is Dance Makar, I think I said it right. So this erupts with a multitude of Eidolon energy beams and sweep a, a circle of death around Revenant. The beams will modify their damage type to target select defenses while incoming damage is redirected back into beams hold fire to boost status effects and damage at the cost of increased energy consumption throws killed by this ability leave over shield pickups now this is a really good dps frame and this is definitely a really good dps frame one is it matches the uh, damage type so for example when you go against grenade it will be corrosive when you're going against uh, infested, it will be viral, and when you go against um, what is it, what is it, corpus, I believe it is magnetic. It's something like that. I might have got it wrong, but yeah, I believe it is that. So now they are all the abilities. They are really good to do, really good to use. All of the abilities work very well. Like I said in my last video, I love a warframe when a warframe uses all of its abilities. So now first we have enemy radar, that is just my personal preference, I like to have enemy radar on. Next we have Umbra Vitality, Umbra Intensify, so we can get a nice amount of duration, um, strength and health. Next Prime Flow, kind of simple, just more energy. Uh, Transit Fortitude for the strength, adaptation on, so when we're not using that Mesmer skin we have that adaptation on anyway. We've got Augur Message, what gives us that duration and streamline. Now the reason why we have Augur Message on is because our transit fortune makes us go down by some um, by duration. So I slapped on Augur Message 1 because we get 40% energy spent on abilities is converted to shields. And 2, it gives us that duration so we are not at like, like minus 50% uh, duration. Now this is my, my main build, I will always just use this. Now if I want to use an index build, this is the build that I'll be using. Now you're probably wondering, what's an index build? Now this build is mainly just straight up for Mesmer skin. So we just have uh, max efficiency and that's basically it. We just basically have max efficiency just so 
one we can use this as whenever you want it doesn't take any lot of energy it just takes 12.5 energy which seriously isn't a lot so how this build works we've got prime flow streamline fleeting expertise transit fortitude for our strength because we want our strength up adaptation adaptation prime continuity organ message and a vitality now this is all with zero former and we also have arcane energizer and guardian arcane energizer i really recommend because obviously getting, getting your energy back is really nice to have so i'm going to show you how these abilities will work now sorry about the creaky, creaky chair if you hear it in the background but yeah let's show you on how these work so and these are attacking me i don't want you to attack me yet actually you know what you know what? we can we can allow them to attack me so when you have your Mesmer skin on, this is what would happen to him. Now you see here these are stunned, you can then use your throw, that will then turn that onto this side. Make sure your Mesmer skin is always up, because if you don't have your Mesmer skin, it has not very good. So now you see here, we are basically not taking any damage, because they are all now on the throw ones. So we're going to use our dance, and if you see here, this does quite a lot of damage to be honest, and it doesn't really drain a lot of energy. Now I don't use the boost of damage that you can have, I just use the normal one because I, I just do. But yeah, that's basically it. Now with the organ message on, it makes it so it is a lot more easier to one, get your shield back if you need that overshield because you could just use your third ability, what takes it not very long to then, uh, yeah. This also does do damage, it doesn't do tons of damage compared to the ultimate, but it still does a lot of damage. We see here we are doing a lot of damage and obviously the damage that we are dealt by, so when we do damage, when we take damage, we also dish out more damage. If you look in the top right, I will show that again. So if you look in the top right when we are using our ult, you'll see how we are the dance map alone or something like that is going up when we are taking damage. And this will increase the damage that we are dealing, what is very good. And when we're not taking damage, it starts going down. So, really good. Revenant is really good to play. I really like Revenant because one, he's a tank. And two, he just does a lot of damage. He does a lot of damage when you play him right, when you have the builds right. And, uh, yeah. So, that's been it, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you do drop a like and subscribe. I will very much appreciate it. And, uh, yeah. See you guys. Later.